Good morning, guys. I wanted to make a quick video this morning because I got up this morning and um, I was led to the book of Joshua. And um, I remember um, a while back that um, I had made a video about the 12 stones that um, God had directed Joshua to take 12 stones from the 12 tribes when they passed through Jordan. And those stones are still there today. And I was really kind of I didn't understand like why he was showing me that, but um, this morning when I got up and I was led here, and it's about um, basically the twelve stones. It's, it's the story, and I want to I want encourage you to read this because it's it's amazing. And I just really felt the spirit um, as I started reading this. Um, the one thing that um, I noticed when I started the first thing in the first chapter as I was reading it. And he's talking to Joshua, and he's saying, um, there's shall, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. I don't know. I just felt like, you know, God is telling us all that. If we just have, you know, courage and, and confidence in him and faith in him, that he is standing with us and he's always with us. But this story really just hits my heart and my spirit. Um, um, he says in, in, in verse 11 in chapter 1, Pass through the host, command the people, saying, Prepare your, your victuals, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan to go into the, to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. Three days. Three days. Wow, three days, guys. And you know... I mean, it's Easter, and, you know, three days Jesus rose, and our victory was won through him. And this just speaks to me because I feel like God is saying to me about this. Um, you know, with Moses, they passed through the Red Sea. With Joshua, they passed through Jordan. That God is saying that we he's going to part the waters for us, and this is going to be the rapture. I feel like God is saying that this is going to be what he does for us. He's going to part the waters for us, guys. So I feel like it just really hits my heart. This is the pattern of God. This is how he works, right? That he had directed Moses and got his children through the Red Sea. He's directed Joshua to get his people through the Jordan. And those stones are still there today. Those 12 stones for the 12 tribes of Israel are still there today as a memorial to show how mighty God is. And so I read this this morning, and I just feel in my spirit that God is saying, <clears throat> stay strong. I am with thee. I will not forsake thee. I am there. And as he has done in the past, he's also going to do for us and his children, his people, that he is going to deliver us. And we got to stand strong. We got to st you know, stand faithful. How beautiful this story is. This story is so beautiful. I would ask you to go to Joshua, read about this. This is so amazing that we have to just stay faithful. We have to stay strong, stay in the word, armor yourselves, prepare your hearts, um, be joyful, be in rest. And um, I felt in my spirit that um, Matthew 11, uh, Matthew 11, and as I was reading the end of Matthew 11, I want to read this because this is who Jesus says, and he says, Come unto me, all ye that are that all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It is. I mean it is rest for your heart, whatever you're going through, you can find peace in all things, because there is nothing in this world that will give you that other than Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate the resurrection today. Our victory is today. What a joy. You know, the enemy thought he won, but his victory proved that he won. He won. We won. We have Christ. We have everything. Um, guys, be blessed. This is amazing. Hold tight. Hold strong. God is at the door, and we just have to be joyful and spread the gospel. That's what it's about. Thank you, guys. God bless you.